with our old feeder, we say if we aim for four tons an hour, it could be in between two and six. Yeah. It could really vary. But now it's plus minus 150 kilos, perhaps. We're really passionate about what we are doing. Quality is really, really important to us. The main thing in the non ferrous plant is to separate materials from each other. And then we have the, the sensor part is to separate the metals from each other to make it as pure as possible. And right now we are handling pretty high volumes of pure metals. The old feeder solution we had, that was just a manual setting. Yeah, they could adjust the feed rate out of what, what they saw, out of their, their gut feeling. It, it was only using uh, electrical vibrations and you, the operators needed to increase and decrease the amount of electricity going to the, the vibrations. Uh, and it was really, really hard for the operators to, to control the, the flow and the throughput. You could also in that case have five tons per hour but with worse quality. That was the case with the old feeder solution. But we had these variations and now we are more on a straight line. With this new active feed machine we can have a set point with a certain throughput and it keeps it. So it made us increase the throughput. We just pushed in the throughput we want and then the active feed solved that for us. I spoke to the manufacturer of the XRFs uh, and all, they also told me, Elisa, if you want to take the sensor sorting to the next level, you need an even flow of materials over the X-ray. And we have done some other adjustments as well regarding the equipment around the XRFs, but the main thing is the, the, the feeder. And we searched the market and found new solution. Uh, and we didn't, I didn't believe it at first <laughs> because it was so, so hard. To, to find the equipment that we needed. So we, we uh, sent down some uh, materials and then we came down. Uh, I wanted to see it with my own eyes. And uh, when we do, did some tests and it, it uh, fell out in a good result. And now we have it active here in, in our plant and are satisfied with the result. But I can really recommend uh, to, to, uh, to have a visit at your plant in Germany that gave us a lot of information that we needed because it's a pretty big investment to send down materials, their own material to the test center and then see it with your own eyes and meet the guys and you. Uh, it helped us a lot to make a decision. Yeah, it was um, very important for us to do a test like that just to see what we are buying. But that was a successful test. When using this uh, like the, feed, the purity out from the sensor machines is better than, than earlier as well. In, in our case, case, this machine, it's, uh, you, you start it and forget it. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, run, runs on, on, it, on its set point. So it's, um, it's, with this more even flow, it's a lot easier to, to get it closer to the limit. We had hand pickers in all fractions uh, before, but now we only have hand picking in uh, some of our fractions. The, the good part with the, the new feed is that the, the sensor technology can do a better work and that's decreasing the hand intense work for the hand pickers. And that is a really nice outcome for the environment of the staff. We created this, the recipes, so we just changed the recipe and then it's, uh, and, and the throughput and, and the vibration and, the, uh, and everything is um, pre-installed into the recipe. So. And by five or six months after, uh, we had a revisit from the Spalik engineers, and then we, we did some small adjustments, but it worked really smooth. So the active feed is really uh, starting the show, you can say. Yeah, because uh, it's really important the, of the performance of all three XRFs. So it saves us a lot of time for the operators. And then it's increasing the throughput, so it's helping us a lot. And we can see our brass is purer now than before. And we are really proud of our copper and zinc. And mostly the copper is really high in purity. Uh, it was very easy installation. You could just uh, unbolt the old, old feeder and put this in place. Because I so now I could order it in the right height. So it just fit the uh, conveyor belt I already had. And also the, the support works. That's a really important thing as well, to have a good connection with, with the manufacturer. I would say it's a no-brainer for us to have an active feed.
because it has several ups. You can control the throughput, and then you control the, the business case, and then you control the reporting deals with the throughput, and then the operators can focus in on other areas like quality controls, uh, maintenance, cleaning. Uh, they can recover from the hand intense work. So yes, a higher efficiency and lesser uh, hand picking. Yeah.